so here whatever IP we are getting we are going to type here so let's see here I am getting 192 dot yeah this one and then I can minimize this and I can make this big let's log in here and what I can do here here I can create or let me create the new folder here I will give BGP okay I give the folder name as BGP if you see here you have the folder name click this one open new lab here you can write IBGP we are going to do IBGP now so I will write IBGP and here I will take two router okay I can take this two router this one whatever I am getting and here I will write R I will put quantity 2 and here I will put the interface here also I will put the interface and save and now we can connect this to this router and here I can power on this one here also I will power on this one I can take the CLI of this one R1 and I will take the CLI of R2 also and now let's take the notepad to do, do this lab so here I will put the so this one is important you are with me right yeah, because this is the first time you are doing the BGP so this one you need to understand same procedure we will use for all the labs we will do some modification but basic configuration will be same so what I will do first of all same thing as we do before let's like we are assigning the IP address we will do same thing so here let me put the different color okay so here if you see you have this IP in between we are using that one and here I can create one loop back here I can say loop back 0 I can assign any IP example 1.1.1 .1 .1. okay 1.1.1. Dot one dot one dot slash 8 I will use this here and here I will use I can use same loop back 0 here also this is different router so we can use the same number for the loop back and here I will use 2.2.2 example this is a LAN network imagine this is your LAN network this is also your LAN network now first of all we need to configure so as we are doing from long time we need to assign the IP first of all then we will do the BGP configuration so what we will do I will write here R1 configuration enable config T host name R1 and we will assign the IP address interface fast Ethernet 0 by 0 IP address 192.168.12.1255.255.255.0 and we will write no shirt and then interface loopback 0 IP address whatever IP we plan we will put that here this is a basic thing just we configure the IP address in the R1 same thing like this we need to do in R2 but before that one let me paste this configuration in the R1 so let's see here I pasted so everything is good now I will go here to the R2 and I will paste here and we are going to modify as per our requirement here is R2 here is R2 this should be 2 because here we are using 2.2 and this should be 2.2.2 so I will write here 2.2.2.2 okay so now I will paste this in the R2 I will go here I will paste this in the R2 and also what you need to remember here we have the concept of AS so we need to define the AS here so AS I am using here as 1 okay both the side should be same as then only we can say this is a IBGP so here also AS same both the side I am giving the same AS if you give the different AS that this uh, that will be the EBGP okay internal BGP external BGP as we are saying so if you are having the same AS then we can say IBGP 
so here also as1 here also as1 so now if you see this is the basic configuration till now what we done now we will do the bgp configuration so if you want to configure bgp you need to write router bgp and give the bgp whatever as you have here your as you are in the r1 and you need to give your as so your as is 1 so you will write here router bgp 1 then you will write here neighbor who is your neighbor you will write the neighbor here manually we need to define in the ospf automatically they are discovering in the ospf eagrp but here you need to define manually so you need to write neighbor and give the neighbor ip who is neighbor this is the neighbor what is the neighbor ip this one directly connected to you you will put that one so 192.168.12.2 okay after that you will write remote dash as so what is your neighbor as remote dash as means your neighbor as so as is one so you will put here this way you will make the neighborship if you have one more neighbor here you will write again same thing neighbor and the other ip of that one example you have like this you have one more neighbor here so you will write here neighbor and whatever ip you have here you will put that ip and whatever as you have you will put that as here okay so this is the command to make the neighborship neighbor neighbor ip uh, remote as and we'll give the as number you will make neighborship with this command then you need to advertise your lan network so if you want to advertise you write network and put the network id and after that you write mass and write the subnet mass here that's all okay any confusion here you write router bgp1 neighbor neighbor ip remote as and whatever the as of your neighbor and if you want to advertise your network you write network network id and the mass and you will give the subnet mass that's all now i will copy this i will paste this in the r1 i will go here inside the r1 and i will paste this in the r1 if you see i pasted everything is good now we need to do the r2 configuration so here i will paste and we will modify i am here in the r2 so i will write router bgp what is my as my as also one so i will keep this one same neighbor who is my neighbor this one so neighbor ip is 192.168.12.1 so i will write here 12.1 and remote as so what is my neighbor as one so this one also remains same okay and i need to advertise this one so instead of one here you will have two okay because i need to advertise this one so we need to write the network network id of my lan network whatever i want to advertise then after that i need to write mass and write the subnet mass of that one so i done that one and let me copy paste any doubt here how i am writing this one any confusion anything nothing right you are understanding or you are getting any confusion here okay so we will paste and you can see here neighborship come up and we can go here and we can check also we should have the reachability if you don't have a reachability then we need to run some uh, different routing protocol to become to get the reachability but now they are directly connected so no need to worry how we will check the bgp is configured or not we can write same thing as we are writing show ip root press enter you will get here b but still nothing is coming here bgp is the slow protocol it will take some time we need to wait and we will check that one okay and here also we can check i will write show show ip root still not came i can write show ip root and then we can write bgp if you want to filter see now it came let me write again show ip bgp root this one we are writing whenever we configure any routing protocol we are writing show ip root so when you write show ip root you will get the b if you see b b is nothing but you can see here b is a bgp so this network you are learning from the bgp and you can see this is the network you learn and this is the ad value and this is the next hop and from this much time this route is up 
if you want to filter you can write show ip bgp root show ip root bgp so it will show you only bgp root so what you are getting you are getting this you are here you are in the r2 and you are getting this 1.1 uh, network and you can ping it will work okay 1.1.1.1 you are getting this one and you can go to r2 and you can write here show ip root you are getting this root with the b b is nothing but bgp b stand for bgp and what you learn here this network because we are having both the site as number is one that is same as so ad value if you remember for the same as ibgp you have the ad value is 200 and this is the next hop and from this much time this is up any confusion any doubts and now if you want to check the neighborship you can write show ip bgp neighbor show ip bgp neighbor when you write here you can see you will get here bgp neighbor is 192 12.2 you are in the r1 okay you are here you are getting the neighbor information so you are getting 192.168.12.2 is my neighbor and remote as is one this one and bgp version is four and uh, router id is 2.2.2 for your remote router id router id like in the ospf we are assigning router id here also we can assign but automatically it taken if you did not assign automatically it will take so later we are going to discuss how we can assign the router id also okay so here what we done we get we get the hold on time we get keep alive interval we get here 60 second and later we are going to do the packets here also like we do for ospf now just i am showing you by doing one lap and if you see somewhere here you will get the ttl value also ttl value as we told ttl value is this one 255 when you are using the ibgp ttl value will be 255 okay and here you have the packets also we are going to see that one later now just i will give you the small basic overview about the bgp and you have the show ip bgp summary so this one also we are going to check the prefix and the roots in the coming classes so like what prefix how many prefix we are getting we have the attributes in the bgp later we are going to discuss that all now what you uh, try to focus you try to focus how we can configure the bgp and uh, how means this neighborship automatically it is not forming you need to do manually you need to configure and if you want to advertise any network you need to use the network command to advertise that one if here and here both are having the same as then we can say ibgp if here here is having different as then we can say ebgp how we can check the bgp that is routing table just uh, like normal routing table how we check show ip root you will write that way only you will get here b b stands for bgp if you want to filter you can write show ip root bgp okay then you will get only bgp roots here so this one is a basic we done first lap basic about the bgp how to configure ibgp in our next class we are going to configure the ebgp and we are going to discuss little more deep slowly slowly we are going to do the more topics about the bgp attributes and we are going to go in the deep so try to study daily basis because in the coming classes we are going to uh, what we can say we are going to discuss more deep about the bgp Thank you.